Ethanol, a great early game fuel which was produced from biomass now has a different crafting recipe and is produced from sugar instead. So here's a design for an automatic sugar can farm using which you can produce infinite amounts of sugar which can then be converted into ethanol using the mods thermal expansion, open blocks and HBM's nuclear attack mod. Links to all of these mods will be down in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So we start this farm by placing down 7 blocks of dirt and then leave a 1 block gap and place down 7 more blocks. Now take any solid block of your choice and place them down in this formation. There goes one side and the other side. I'm gonna use wool blocks, you can use any block of your choice. Now in this gap that we created, place down water and make sure that each block is a water source and not flowing water. Now once you have placed down your water, take your sugar cane and plant them on the dirt block. So that while we are building this farm, the sugar cane can grow me. Next up, take the solid blocks and cover up all the water that you have placed like this. Now let's place down some pistons in order to break the sugar cane blocks. So take any temporary block, place it down and place down two sticky pistons on top of it. Then break the temporary block and extend this piston line all the way to the very back. Now on the very last block, place down only one piston instead of two. And repeat the same process on the other side as well. Now take solid blocks and cover up all the pistons like this and the other side as well next up cover up this part and build up so that we reach the top now on the very top block place down three solid blocks leaving a one block gap so there goes one, two and three. Now let's make our butt switch which is the block update switch. So place down two sticky pistons and two blocks, two solid blocks like this and one block up. Same goes for the other side. There we go. Now on these top blocks, place down two redstone torches. And now this is a little bit tricky to do but on the torches, place down your normal piston. Not sticky ones, but normal ones, like this. And they will extend as soon as you place them. Now, once these pistons are extended, place down two blocks of redstone and two pieces of redstone dust on the block below. And with that, the pistons should return. And with this, we have made our bird switch. Now, in order to take the output out, pull out three blocks, break the two, and do the same on the other side. Now on these two blocks that we placed, we are gonna place down a wireless transmitters facing the other direction. So make sure that the transmitters are placed in this orientation only and set their frequency, both of them, to 1. Now take your solid block and start placing two of them behind the bottom piston, piston line. And do the same thing on the other side. Now take your repeaters and pull out two blocks on the very end like this. Now let's place repeaters behind every piston block. And once the repeaters are placed, connect all of them via redstone dust. Now on the two blocks that we extended, place down a repeater going into the redstone line and then place down a wireless receiver going into the repeater. And the wireless receiver should also be set to frequency 1 which was the frequency of our transmitter. There we go. 
and with this the basic redstone design of the entire farm is complete in order to test this if i grow this large sugarcane block all the pistons will extend like this now just clean it up a little bit by placing down some more solid blocks now let's make the receiving system by coming behind four blocks and on the fourth block place down an item duct from thermal expansion and then bring the item duct all the way to the front and place down a crate or a chest at the very end now on top of the item duct place down a vacuum hopper from open blocks and right click on the hopper and then go into the settings tab right click to rotate the hopper and on the bottom side set it as output now take your servo and place the servo on the item duct so it will directly receive items from the vacuum hopper set the stack size to 1 and redstone to ignore and with this all the items that the hopper will collect they will directly be transferred into the crate or the chest using the item ducts now extend some more item ducts which will go into the cyclic assembler now the cyclic assembler is a block from thermal expansion and what it can do is basically craft items for you so take your cyclic assembler and on the left hand side set it to input which is the blue color right here next up extend or basically place down a steam dynamo going into the cyclic assembler and two or three blocks behind dig out a three by three area in which we are gonna place water as we also need to power the cyclic assembler and in order to do that we are gonna use the steam dynamo after placing down water place uh, an aqueous accumulator in here and the accumulator will start filling up with water then take your fluid ducts and extend the fluid ducts going all the way into the steam dynamo and the steam dynamo should fill up with water but we are not going to activate it just yet now take your item ducts and extend them from the cyclic assembler so one two and three and let these ducts go into an iron crate now come three blocks behind from the crate one two and three and one block to the right and place down a chemical plant so the crate will be directly connected to the input of the chemical plant now let's set up the cyclic assembler so in the cyclic assembler place down a schematic and empty schematic and in the crafting table place down a block of sugarcane which will be then be converted into sugar and then press the correct icon next up for the pow for powering the chemical plant i'm going to set up a simple solar tower boiler now i'm gonna speed this process up as i have already made a video on it if you want to check it there is a link in the description down below The only thing different here is that the turbine when uh, or the steam that will be produced will be converted into low pressure steam which you will then have to process in a condenser and yeah that is the only thing that is different which I didn't cover in my previous video as the low pressure steam was not added back then. So yeah that's the only change that you need to remember that water will be converted into low pressure steam rather than directly being converted into water. Now as soon as you have set up the solar tower boiler with one infinite water tank, the turbine will start producing power. You can pump this power into the uh, chemical plant and the chemical plant yeah, will be basically functional now. So place down the ethanol production recipe in the chemical plant and extend some ethanol duct from the chemical plant into a diesel generator. And on the side of the diesel generator place down an energy storage block and also don't forget to set the diesel generator to process it and off now one final thing don't forget to place down servos on every crate or basically everywhere where you need to extract item so place down servos on the item ducts where the crates are connected and also where the cyclic assembler is connected and remember that the servo extracts item. Now in order to power the steam dynamo, place down any block that burns and that will start producing steam which will power the dynamo and also the cyclic assembler. Now let's test this system. Let's say that all the sugar cane have grown. 
so I'm just gonna manually grow them now this will take some time but hey this process is free so yeah this will be your backup power in early game now let's say that the final sugar queen grows which will in case or which will in turn update the bud switch there we go now all the sugar cane will break and will be collected by the vacuum hopper now the vacuum hopper will start funneling them into the crate and then these items will go into the cyclic assembler the cyclic assembler will start turning the sugar cane into sugar the sugar will be then be pumped into this crate which goes into the chemical plant now once the chemical plant receives six pieces of sugar it will be converted into one bucket or 1000 milli buckets of ethanol so here we go and once we have produced ethanol that ethanol will be pumped out into the diesel generator and you will see that a storage block has started receiving power and we are getting a decent amount of power for a ligand so yeah guys this was the ethanol production farm using sugarcane so that was all i had for this video guys i hope you guys liked it if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this peace out guys stay safe